everyone, it's Single here from NikkiCraft, and welcome back to another video where today you can see I am in the main Minecraft menu. Now as you can see my mouse kind of went out of the screen right there. Yeah, I'm not recording full screen, obviously I never really do, but this time it's extra special because I'm using desktop, and this desktop is going to help me because it's much more powerful, and a lot of my videos on Camtasia were failing and weren't loading right, and at a certain point I was like, how can Camtasia be having this many problems? And then I, I look at it and I go, I have like a three-year-old laptop, so it's it's probably pretty old and it's probably not as powerful. Now today I'm pretty much going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to add a Minecraft server and what a Minecraft server actually is. So let's first start with what a Minecraft server is. As you can see, we have single player here. Uh, yes, I did transfer that original YouTube world over as well. I have my single player, I have my multiplayer, which we'll get to in one second. Minecraft realms and we have options so now as you can see if I wanted to go into um, multiplayer which is what a Minecraft server is Minecraft server is a place where you connect have fun with other players you do not need to communicate with other players for parents out there who are afraid of their kids playing online with other people you can simply go to music and sound controls chat settings so what you want to do is hit options, chat settings, you can hit sh chat off, commands only, hidden, shown. So what it means is that if I, I can type into a chat with thousands of players across the world, but I could also click it again and have commands only so your kids can only put in commands or you can just have hidden so you don't have the chat at all. So some people don't like that, they don't like talking to other people. But if you want it on, you can have it on. Now into multiplayer. So what multiplayer is, is a place where you can play, obviously, with multiple players. As you can see, these three buttons are unselectable, but these four buttons are selectable. Why? Specifically because I don't have a server selected here. There's nothing here. And it says scanning for games on your local network. That won't do anything. It's it's literally just standing there thinking that it's scanning. It's not you have to add a server first so the way you can do that is by clicking the add server button now the add server button will bring you to this message edit server info now what this means is pretty much you're not trying to edit a new server but you're trying to create a new server and it just needs you to it just says edit up there now you can leave this completely blank you can type anything you want in. You can simply name your server hello smiley face. The reason you can do this is because it's server name. It's not literally the name of the server. It's just what it will appear as. Now, server address. What you can do is you can go into your Google Chrome Safari if you want and you can look up Minecraft servers for PC or something like that. You can do that and it will show you tons of servers. It'll be like this server, that server. One of the biggest Minecraft servers in the world is Mindplex, as you know, and they have a very simple, uh, what, what is it called? IP address. Now, what is an IP address? An IP address is the place like you go to. It's literally another word for address. I don't know if it's a special code term or something like that. It may be something similar to that, I have no idea. All I know is that they use the word IP, and as you can see, they have address right here. Now, this will not take your address or do anything like that. It just needs for one player to connect to a certain address. For example, they will have a place somewhere, they'll create this server, and it's on 24-7, and they just need a place for everybody to go to the same place. It's like when you go to a party, you need the address to the house. Now, to start off by going to the address box, you can type in us.mineplex, that's M-I-N-E-P-L-E-X, dot com. Now, once you type that in, not every server is just going to be us.servername.com. Other servers have tons of different names. What you want to hit now, after you put in the IP address, could you hit create? Of course. But what you also want to do is, as you can see down here, server resource packs. Now prompt, I think that just means like, I don't know if it's slightly disabled or it's just not like, it'll download them, I don't know. It just acts as a disabled, I don't, I don't know why. Prompt, you literally don't have to care about that. All you have to do is click it once and it's enabled. But if you clicked it twice, it'll be disabled. You click it again, it'll go back to prompt and then you, all you have to do is click it once. 
that they in Minecraft they just go in an order three times and it just enables it. Now, as you can see, we have this. We have Myplex. Wow, they had a new logo now. Oh my god, it looks so much more 3D. All right. So as you can see, they have their own server now. Can you create a server? Probably. It takes a lot of coding and a lot of classes and special stuff. Usually should be like maybe 9 or 10. Like some people around that age do create their own Minecraft servers. They don't become the biggest, but they definitely become big enough and you have hundreds of people there. That you would need to go to like special classes for. You can't just, oh, I'm going to create da 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 dot com dot org. If you did that, watch. All it shows is this and the pinging symbol. Now, what that means is if you type in something wrong, so if I did uss.mineplex, oops, I'm spelling it wrong, dot com, as you can see, I hit enable, still won't create it because it needs the exact IP address. Because if it doesn't have that, then that, that's not going to work good for you. But, Let's say you accidentally deleted your server. Oh no. Oh, we're we're all in danger. What are we going to do? Well, what we're going to do What we're going to do is we're going to just hit add server. It did not delete your progress or anything. You can simply type in us.mineplex.com. And as long as you don't change your Minecraft name in between, I don't think it even matters. I think your profile in general, like literally your entire Minecraft profile is automatically saved to that server and it doesn't reset anything unless certain servers have like a resetting something for like certain games like they'll reset stuff after a while. This this server definitely doesn't reset any stuff and it's very nice to go on to. So and if you want to exit your Minecraft server you just hit the ESC button at kind of like usually the top left of your keyboard and you get this menu so you can hit options you can do all of your options the same options you could do in the menu in game and you could also hit achievements that literally will but you probably won't earn anything on achievements in on minecraft servers so you really don't need to worry about that uh statics uh, that i don't think any of us ever look at that and open to land you never can open to land i think most of you know why because you couldn't just say Hey, let's invite all of my friends here. You just give them the IP address and they can join with you. And if they're not on the same lobby as you, what you can do is slash lobby. Now, slash lobby is a command most uh, Minecraft servers. So if you hit enter, now oh, slash maybe hub or something. No, I don't know. I don't know why it's not working. But usually, what people do is uh, slash slash hub and you can go straight, it would just spawn me straight at the back at the beginning over here and you sometimes people do slash lobby 24 yeah it's it's not working for me but most of the time people do that and you can go to the same lobby as your friends you can talk into the chat and say different kinds of stuff you can play on the games minecraft servers are all free you don't have to pay for them some of them may be like Oh, do you want to buy a rank? As you can see over here at the side of, of, like, the right side of my screen, they have rank legend. Now, what that means is that the server, um, the server sold rank, so they kind of made up their own thing where they're like, become a rank legend or become a king and you get this many coins or get to play this special game or do this or fly or something like that. They, they just kind of came up with that with their own imagination and coded it, it straight into the computers and the whole game and the server and everything like that. So what you would want to do now is if you want to buy a rank, you can. Some new some new servers really don't generally have that. If they don't, it, they just don't. They just have a regular server. You don't need to worry about it. Most servers have a website powered by Engine. They're actually really, really good. That's really it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time... Goodbye!